This is the 2017 Mazda MX-5. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, where is it? I can't see it, it's so small. I know, it's really small, isn't it? This is actually smaller than the original Miata. Look how tiny it is. It's like a Barbie car. But the thing that makes this way different than the past three generations is that this is actually really cool. Did you know that the Mazda Miata is the world's best-selling roadster? It sold over a million cars. Let's take a look at the front of the vehicle. Look how tiny it is. It's so small. But one thing you might notice right off the bat is that they actually lowered the hood. The hood is now lower, which means the hood is basically touching the ground. Now there's a whole bunch of different trims for this vehicle. You can get the GX, which is a base model. That starts at $31,000. You can get the GS, which is the mid-level, which starts at 35,000. You can get the GT, which is the highest trim that starts at 39. Now that's all for the soft top. If you get this, this is the MX-5 RF, which is retractable fastback. So that GS starts at 39,000 and then the GT starts at 42,000. I know it seems like it's kind of expensive, but you know what, it's a really fun car to drive. If it was me, I'd probably opt for the, the GS. It's the mid-level, but it's actually a bit sportier than the GT. These tiny, tiny baby lights, these are LEDs. LEDs come standard, although you can get LED running lights, which only come on the GS and the GT. It reminds me of an F-Type. The F-Type, I think, is a little bit bigger. Also, the F-Type is sixty dollars or $70,000 more. So, there you go. Would you believe that this is this small. It makes me look huge. I'm not even standing up straight. This car only weighs a thousand kilograms. For Americans, that's 2,200 pounds. Watch this. It takes no effort whatsoever. I'm just pushing it out of the frame. Bye car. If you get the GT, which is the highest trim, then you're going to get a power dimming side view mirror. But there's only one power dimming side mirror. You won't get the power dimming other side mirror. It also has blind spot monitoring. Now, that is a huge asset in this car. Uh, it's really hard to see out to the side and out the back. Now, because this is the GT and this is not a sport package, then you have these 17 inch glossy gunmetal wheels. So the sport package is only available on the GS, which is the second from the highest trim, which is kind of weird because you'd think if you pay more money, then you would get, you get whatever package you want on the highest trim. But no, so that's why I would opt for the GS. It's $4,000 less than the GT and it's cooler. And when you get the sport trim, you also get piano black mirrors. You also get Brembo brakes and red calipers. This is also the world's fastest retractable hardtop. It goes down in 12 seconds, and you can drive up to 10 kilometers an hour. Hmm. I've got a Jaguar and You need a belt driven supercharger. I did, I did the calculation on that. Pounds per horsepower. So the, the SHO is matter that one's got more horsepower well, than the other, it's the weight to Horsepower ratio, yeah. right? You can get escapes 40 grand. Come on, give me a break. Yeah, I wouldn't spend the money it's on it. of an SHO oh, yeah. stoplight. Well, that was a conversation with some strangers, I guess. See, that's how much everyone likes the new Miata. You know that I have fit in every single trunk of every single vehicle that I ever reviewed? This one, this is just, this is way smaller. Mm. Ugh. It's not really meant to fit people in. So. Look at that. There we go. Uh-oh, I have the key in my pocket. I don't know if I can get to it. How scary is this? Ugh. I don't think manufacturers should put dual exhaust on absolutely everything. Look, this is our minivan. It has like 90 horsepower for carrying 
your 10 kids, also it has quadruple exhaust. This doesn't need dual exhaust, they don't put dual exhaust on it. That's the way it should be. So did you know that this is two inches wider than its predecessor? That's a big, like two inches is a big deal for a car, especially one that's this small. Let's check out the engine. It's the opposite of the trunk. So this is the Skyactiv G2 liter. It has 155 horsepower and 147 foot-pounds of torque. So this actually has 12 less horsepower than last generation, but it has more torque. But it's also faster than last generation, which is also really cool. One thing I really, really like about Mazda is that they're still really faithful to the manual transmission. In the CX-5, which is a, a, you know, a mid-sized crossover, you can actually get that with a manual transmission. And you, you can't find manual transmissions in um, crossovers anywhere. So this is a sports car and it gets 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. I don't know what that is in American talk, so we'll just put that somewhere in the video. This is no easy car to get into. Hey, look, my pants match. Did you know that if you get the sport package, which is on the trim below this, um, then you get Recaro racing seats? They're black leather with Alcantara accents and red contrast stitching. I think that would look amazing in this car. I would totally buy that instead of this. If you have seen interior, the interior of the old uh, Miata, it looks very, very cheap. This does not look cheap at all. This is a very nice interior. And if you get the GS or the GT, then you get body colored panels. And if you don't, then you get black. And you have a leather wrapped steering wheel, a leather wrapped shifter, and leather wrapped e-brake. And so then this is the Mazda Connect screen. It's seven inches and this is the single best infotainment system interface that I've ever seen in any vehicle. And it doesn't use Android Auto. They developed their own thing, which is Mazda Connect. I wouldn't say it's better than Android Auto, but it's, it's, it's really intuitive and it is extremely easy to use. You can go through all your songs instantly. Look at this. One button, two buttons. All of a sudden, look at this. I have all my songs. And you can also go to communication. You can look through your, your contacts. You can read text messages, you can dial. The, the applications and the, and the communication, like the nav, that's all that is pretty standard stuff. It is the entertainment system that Mazda really shines. And you can control the entire infotainment system with this. There's also a volume knob here. I actually prefer to use the volume knob right here instead of the steering wheel, because you rest your arm here and your volume knob is kind of underneath your hand, which is handy. Huh. You also have heated seats. Heated seats are not available on the GX though, only the GS and the GT. Now, one thing that I thought was really interesting is the cup holders. You're saying, whoa, where are the cup holders? Right here. They're modular, so you can put a cup holder here if you want. You can put a cup holder here. They're kind of hard to pull out sometimes. Let's see, there we go. Now you have two cup holders right behind you and really short throws. People always say, I love how short the throws are. Well, trust me, as far as throws go, they're short. Now, there's actually no glove box, which is pretty interesting. There's this tiny little storage here. Let's see. Here is a phone. It fits the phone, but then you can't fit anything else in there. That's how small it is. There's also storage back here. And you can fit a lot more in here than you can. Hey, there's rope. The seats are really comfortable. They use netting and mesh instead of springs and wire. So they're incredibly soft. And they also grab you really nicely. Usually I'm way too small for seats, but actually I fit this perfectly, which means that I think if you're a really big guy or a girl, don't wanna be sexist, then you might have a hard time fitting in this vehicle. Also, our friend Cody, you remember Cody, he is six foot five and he did not even come close to fitting in this vehicle. Uh, we have the soft top and his head stuck out like this far past the soft top. Apparently though, they actually did tilt the seat back and they um, tilted the steering wheel forward and it's supposed to be a bit better for taller people. They also raised the roof two centimeters. So if you get the GX then you don't get this seven inch screen, you get this really small monochromatic screen that kind of fits in this little in this little area right here. And it is, it looks like something from 1995. So I beg you, please 
get the GS. Also has a power dimming rear view mirror, and like I said, power dimming side view mirror. And then lane keep assist is also in this vehicle, and so is blind spot monitoring. So if you get the automatic transmission on the GS or the GT, then you're going to get paddle shifters. But no paddle shifters for us because we have the big boy shifter. And the button for the, for the top is right here. Whoa. Hey, that was close. I could have, I wonder how far this can go without wrecking my camera. Hello. Ooh. I would say that it's time to drive this beast. Let's do it. Oh. I will be completely honest. This car is not as fast as I thought it would be, but it's so fun. You don't need to have a super fast car to have a lot of fun. Now, here's something that's really interesting about this vehicle. You're gonna have a lot of people saying something like, hey, that's not a real sports car. It only has 155 horsepower. My G5987D has 2,000 horsepower. But you know what? This thing, even though it only has 155 horsepower, it is so fun to drive. It's so tiny and so nimble. I think I've proven that right now because I'm having so much dang fun. No, we haven't even tested the audio. This has a nine speaker Bose sound system and it has speakers in the headrest, kind of like the Pontiac Fiero. Remember the Fiero? That was the car that every cool kid wanted. And if you're lucky, someone would sell you a Lamborghini that was actually a Fiero in a Lamborghini body kit. And then you spent all your money on it because you didn't know it wasn't a Lamborghini. So nine speaker sound system. Very loud, very clear. I wish I was better at air guitar. All I do when I air guitar is I just wiggle my fingers because I've never played the guitar before. Actually, that's not true. I took a music class when I was in grade eight and the teacher told me that I just wasn't getting it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, broadcast alive to you and yours. It's funny because you can't tell if I'm doing this ironically or I really like the song. If you like what you saw in this video, you should let us know in the comments below. And you should subscribe to our YouTube channel. We need subscribers. You see, we can't get enough subscribers. You know how when you really want something, but you can't get enough of it and then you're addicted? Well, this was a disaster.